Um, yeah, great day, great weekend, great series for us. Uh, number three team in the country comes in and we play as well as we did. Uh, just very excited for our guys, for our fans. Uh, great weekend, that's all you can say. So happy to answer questions. What, what made you want to go with Tyler today and what was it that made him so good? Um, you know, we looked at last Sunday. Obviously, Becker is, is in consideration to be a weekend starter, but he was so good coming out of the bullpen his last few times that we just thought it's something we want to try maybe for one more week. Give Pitzer a shot. Pitzer's been really good out of the bullpen. Um, and let's see what he looks like as a starter. It was at home, so he didn't have to make his first SEC start on the road. It was a chance to give him a start at home. And if it didn't go well, then Becker would be in there early. Um, and if it did go well, we thought we could get what we got today. So uh, Pitzer was outstanding. His poise was good. His stuff was good. Uh, he was competitive, looked like a veteran out there. So I think he did everything you wanted to see out of a pitcher, no doubt about it. Nine strikeouts, one walk to a team hitting 330. Couldn't be more impressed. Yeah, kind of going off that. It seems like every year now you're in a position where you 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 choose to start a freshman on the mound in one of these big series, whether it's you know Becker against Texas a few years ago. I know like Will Sanders for instance back in the day when he was a freshman pitching early on. Um, anyway, my question is, you know, just what is it that gives you such confidence uh, to go with these guys, especially the young guys in these sorts of spots? Well, I think number one, you have to sign and recruit talented players that have the ability to do that. Um, but then you also have to show confidence in them when, they, when you feel like they're ready. And I think it's really important that, that the coaches figure out the right time to give them their opportunity so that they are set up for success. I think Pitzer had earned it uh, through the fall. We just saw a lot of growth from the fall into the spring and now in the real games and just felt like it was the right time to give him that opportunity. And so when we give the opportunities to guys, you want to see them run with it. And you saw an example today of a guy that really, really ran with it. And then Becker, again, was outstanding coming out of the bullpen. You said that when, you know, Messina and Petri are hitting well, the offense just seems to click a little bit better. Seven home runs in the last two games. Do those two, playing the way they are, take the load off others and, and let them have better pitches? Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, you, you, when All-Americans play like All-Americans, everybody else can kind of be really nice complimentary players and look we want to have a lineup one through nine and, and I think on a lot of days we do but when you have dudes you want them to play like dudes and those guys were really big for us uh, going back to last Sunday this is not just something that started this weekend I think it started last Sunday we took it into Tuesday and we carried it in this weekend so uh, right now I think we're, we're in a good place again uh, just need to keep it going you're right John and that kind of goes to what I was going to ask you the last five games. It, does it feel like this is about what you were expecting uh, to start the season? Does yeah. it feel more like your team? I think so. I think so. I think most people would agree. Um, we thought we had really good hitting. We were hoping we had really good pitching. We thought we would, but we needed to see it. We've seen the pitching be what we thought it would be, and now we're starting to see the hitters kind of be what we expected. So when you put those two together, you've got a good team. You've got a team that's capable of playing this well against a Vanderbilt who's ranked number three. Um, Jackson was out there in, in right. Is that more of a precautionary with Petrie's knee, or, yeah. or do you want to keep DHing Ethan? No, I mean, Ethan, Ethan has played great out in the outfield this year. So this is not a slight to Ethan Petrie's defense. It's just with the knee banged up, not 100%. Just thought it was the wise decision to not push it, not risk any more injury, because the last thing you want is Ethan Petri hobbling around all year. So once we feel like he's at 100%, he'll probably be back uh, out there. Um, but Jackson's playing really well. Jones is playing really well. Brewer's playing really well. Uh, look, we have some good decisions we have to make. You saw the Cassis Causey kind of platoon based on their left-right splits. Uh, both guys played really well this weekend. Causey hit the homer yesterday. Cassis hit the homer today. Uh, so we're just continuing to learn how to use each guys and put them in a, in a position to have their best chance for success. So the longer we play, the more we'll, we'll figure that stuff out about pitchers and hitters. Any more questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.